Hi, I'm Dion Taylor, formerly uh, CEO of Snow and Rock. I was there for 27 years. Um, I'm a Kiwi. Um, came to the UK to work for one winter season and, and over 30 years later I'm still here. Learned my trade at Snow and Rock. One of the things that we started right from the beginning was training became critical um, to the success of our store. So in the very early years, we realized that specialist industry and specifically snow sports and outdoor required good quality service. And that could only be provided by providing good training um, for our staff and store. So we had our own training team. Because the market is forever changing and with the growth of the internet and price has become a major impact on the consumer's decision-making process. However, the industry we're in is a specialist industry and I believe that the current circumstances provide a massive opportunity rather than a threat. However, the need for training has become even more important because it's not just about price, it's about providing someone with a quality product and a, a consumer experience. The product is, can only really be sold with, with good training. And the academy, um, I think, with many retail organisations not understanding the benefit of, of, of training, the academy to provide that knowledge to retailers who want to accept that knowledge. And I think the big challenge is getting some retailers to understand that, that there is some real benefits to training not just in um, technical, but actually the ability to sell, the art of selling. And selling is not a dirty word, it's about fulfilling customers' needs. And I think there's many misconceptions about selling, but actually consumers come into a store, they want, they want information, they want knowledge, they want to be given a great experience and it can only be done through training. So the Academy kind of ticks a lot of boxes because it's in some ways returning to some of the roots that we um, had at Snow and Rock, but also fulfilling um, um, a, a challenge for the, the 21st century of, of, of making retail stores stand out from the internet. So it's not just about price, it's about consumer experience. It's the success of CEDAS and its, its brand and its products, but the Academy, I think Francois's vision was more to provide a, an independent body to facilitate great training and experience to pass on to stores to see retail succeed. Because ultimately, without, without training and experience, and, and proper process, the art of selling and the art of experience in retail stores will disappear. So I think it's, and there's very few people doing it because in the, the current market, everyone's fighting on price, everyone's fighting on cutting costs. So therefore this is a kind of, it's a challenge, a massive challenge, because I think it's the key is getting people to, to get the buy-in, the retailer to get the buy-in of the benefit of, of, of what the Academy can do for the, um, for the retailer and the success of sales and consumer experience within their stores. When demand goes down, then for sure it's the survival of the fittest. So those people that adopt and embrace the challenges will succeed and survive. Those that continue the way they've been functioning will, will no doubt have more challenges moving forward. People love sport. People love activity. Um, people like to go to great stores to be um, enthused, to be given the passion. And, and not just sold to, but to, to have a, an experience and to be, to be presented with product and advice that gives them confidence to go and pursue the sport that they love to the best of their ability. 
So I think from my perspective, you know, if I can add some value and, and help um, the academy provide a great consumer experience and, and training for, for the next generation of, of, of retail staff, that, that actually retail can be a career. It's not, it shouldn't be, sales shouldn't be seen as a dirty word. It should be seen as satisfying needs of the consumer um, to allow them to pursue the sport that they love.